For Doji and many people will actually increase testes size. My loads were larger and my orgasms were much stronger. So that is something that was quite noticeable um, after uh, taking the, the, these supplements. YouTube, YouTube, it's good to be back. Hey guys, how's it going? And Seema here. It's been a long time since I've made consistent videos on the channel. We are back and we're gonna be bringing some fire. So, you know what, let's get into this. Now, um, six weeks ago, we had Andrew Hooverman on The Power Project and we had a lot of great conversation. Okay, if you guys haven't listened to that episode, you have to because we learned so much from Dr. Huberman and I can't wait to have him back for round three because that was the second time he's been on the podcast. Um, but we obviously talked about the big subject, testosterone, okay? All guys are trying to increase their testosterone, okay? I think that was probably the first question any guy asks when he gets into the gym. How can I increase my testosterone? Actually, it's probably not how can I increase my testosterone. It's what drugs you take, bro. But, <laughs> you know, all dudes are curious about how they can increase their test. And we asked Andrew that too. And the first thing I want to mention, guys, because I did this experiment to try these two supplements to see if they've had any change or if they would have any change in my testosterone, my DHT, all that type of stuff. And they did. They did have a change on those levels. But before I worried about supplementation, I've already had really good lifestyle habits in, like, I've already had really great lifestyle habits. So, for those of you who are wondering, what can I do to increase my testosterone? Generally, if you don't, if you aren't getting good sleep every single night and don't have a good circadian rhythm, meaning you're not sleeping and waking around the same times, okay, that's something that you need to get handled. If you're not going out and getting sunlight, meaning you're taking walks each day and getting outside, okay, you need to get that handled. If you're not exercising consistently, okay, you need to get that handled. If you don't have good nutrition, okay, you need to get that handled, right? Uh, these are big factors that outside of these two supplements I'm gonna talk to you about right now, if you don't have those things handled, then these two supplements will have an effect, but they're not gonna have as big of an effect as optimizing your sleep, optimizing your nutrition, optimizing your workout routine, uh, and just make sure you live a healthy lifestyle. Before I took either of these supplements, I had a very good, healthy lifestyle, which will have the biggest effect on your testosterone. Now, the second thing is I got my lab work done through Merrick Health. Merrick Health is a company uh, owned by Derek from More Plates, More Dates. You guys probably know who he is. Uh, they sponsor our podcast, so I'm gonna mention them here. If you guys are interested in getting your blood work done, your lab work, and understanding where your levels are, because I think that's super important. I don't personally take anything, whether you believe me or not, that's okay, but I don't personally take anything, but the big reason why I think lab work is so important is so you can have a snapshot in time of where all of your levels are. So that if you ever do wanna make lifestyle changes, diet changes, you know potentially what this diet may be doing to your cholesterol, your testosterone, testosterone, your everything, right? So I got my lab work done through Merrick. If you do want to get your lab work done through Merrick Health, which I would highly suggest because the patient health, health coordinators can actually help you interpret your lab work, you can use the code POWERPROJECT10 at checkout to save 10% on anything you want to end up doing with Merrick. So you guys should go check them out. On September 17, 2021, I got my uh, lab work done because I wanted to see what two supplements would do to my testosterone. Now we had Andrew Hooverman on The Power Project and he came and talked about a lot of amazing things. Now if you guys haven't seen that episode with Andrew, you should go check it out. But we talked and we did a deep dive on testosterone. And Andrew talked about two separate supplements. The first supplement was Fidogia Agrestis. Now this brand is from Barlow's Herbal. I got this off of Amazon. Barlow's Herbal, Fidogia Agrestis. And then the second supplement, which I do not have on hand here, it's at home, is Tonkat Ali. Uh, the brand is this. I don't know. Solar Ray? Solar Ray is the brand, okay? I don't have the bottle with me. But I was taking 600 milligrams of Fidogia Agrestis and 400 milligrams of Solar Ray Tonkat Ali every single day. And I wanted to see what would this do to my testosterone because Andrew came onto the podcast and he said that uh, these two supplements he's seen that they have had a sizable increase on testosterone for men on himself and other individuals that he has helped out with, um, you know, helping out with their hormonal levels, specifically their testosterone. So I was like, you know what? These are natural herbs. Let me see if it'll make a difference for my testosterone. Now, let's get into the numbers. Before I do that, I wanna tell you guys, physically, 
I didn't feel a difference taking these supplements. Like I didn't feel like I had more performance in the gym. I didn't feel more virile for life. I didn't feel much of a difference because I already had great lifestyle habits. One thing though that I did feel, um, Andrew Huberman did mention, and I've, I've, I've gotten this from somebody else I know actually reported this experience back after they started taking Fidogia Agrestis. Uh, Andrew mentioned to me that some people have um, reported that their testicles increased in size. Fidogia and many people will actually increase testes size. It's a tangible uh, increase in testes size. <laughs> Although I didn't, I didn't feel um, or notice any sizable increase in my testicles. One thing I did notice was uh, during sex or afterwards, uh, when I would ejaculate, uh, my loads were larger and my orgasms were much stronger. So that is something that was quite noticeable um, after uh, taking the, the, the supplements. I probably would assume it's the Fidogia since the Fidogia is the thing that people report back having increased testicle size, but um, strong orgasms. That's all I can say with that. That's the only thing I literally physically noticed. Now let's go over these labs real quick, okay? So I got quite a few labs done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down the list. My total testosterone went from 690 to 716 which is pretty sizable just for taking some supplements. Um, my free testosterone went from 1.5 to 1.9. My free testosterone serum went from 104 to 136. Konga Ali, 400 milligrams a day taken in the morning will increase free testosterone. I know that people, there are some folks out there. Uh, again, you have to check with your doctor if this is right for you, but there's some folks out there that said, I didn't see the full 200 point increase that you referred to. Okay, well, let's talk about that in a second. I've seen people get 400, 500 nanogram per deciliter increases, but they started off low. My DHT or dihydrotestosterone went from 48 down to 38. Um, my percent free dialysis DHT went from 1.1 to 1.3. My DHT free went from 5.28 to 4.94 picograms per milliliter. My luteinizing hormone, this was a pretty sizable difference. It went up from 5.3 and the reference range for luteinizing hormone is 1.7 to 8.6. So before taking these supplements, my luteinizing hormone was 5.3 and my current reading was 8.9. All right, so my luteinizing hormone went up quite a bit. Fidogia tends to increase Luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone is the signal for the, the testes to make more testosterone. Uh, my, estri my estradiol went from 31.3 to 26.3. So it went down. Um, and my SHBG, sex hormone binding globulin, went from 33 down to 29. Tonga Ali, which is Indonesian ginseng, reduces sex hormone binding globulin. Sex hormone binding globulin and albumin are what bind the testosterone molecule and deliver it to your different tissues. Those are the results from the labs. So the big thing that I wanted to see was would my free and total testosterone increase by taking 600 milligrams of Fidogia agrestis and 400 milligrams of Tonkat Ali? And the answer is yes, it did increase. I would honestly say this, if you do not have good lifestyle habits, if you're not getting good sleep, if you're not working out, if you don't have good nutrition, um, if you're drinking a lot, if you're using a lot of substances, like maybe you're using too much, smoking too much, etc., that's causing you to have lack of motivation to do the things you need to do, focus on your lifestyle habits first because I guarantee that that's going to make the biggest change for your testosterone. Now, if you get your lifestyle habits in check, like I have gotten my lifestyle habits in check, everything I do is pretty healthy, which is why all my levels were pretty good. Adding this in is gonna give you a good boost. And even if you don't, it's still gonna give you a little bit of a boost. But again, the biggest thing I think is going to be having good lifestyle habits, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought this would be a good video to bring the YouTube channel back because it's been a while since I've made a video. Uh, if you guys are interested in more content that I do, follow us at the Mark Bell's Power Project YouTube channels here. You can also listen to that on all audio. On Instagram and YouTube, I am Nsima Inyang, like you see here on TikTok and Twitter, I am Nsima Yin Yang. All comments, questions, everything, because I want to interact with the YouTube folks, go in the comments down below uh, and comment what you what questions you have maybe from this, because uh, 
this was a pretty interesting little experiment I did. Merrick Health, all that information is down there in the bio also, or the description. Follow me for more tips on becoming a stronger human, and I will talk to you guys later.